Okay, chapter four of Wayside School Beneath the Cloud of Doom. Chapter four is called Consider the Paperclip. Kind of reminds me of that part of um, Bill Nye the Science Guy where it says, consider the following. All right, consider the paperclip, chapter four. Read a book, write a book report, draw a picture. That was the assignment Mrs. Jules put up on the board. Dana's picture showed a draft studying a map. She had drawn a large question mark over the giraffe's head because in the last chapter she was reading about the lost giraffe, right? Okay. Her book report only had to be one page, but she had written two whole pages. The lost giraffe was her favorite book ever. Now all she needed was a paperclip. She, she, <laughs> she searched her desk. She found quite a few pencils, mostly broken. There were lots of eraser bits and crayon nubs. There was also a crumb covered piece, pink piece of paper that had come off the bottom of a cupcake. Sounds like some of your desks. Oh no, oh no, oh no, she moaned as she continued to search. She raised her hand. Yes, Dana, said Mrs. Jules. I need a new paper clip, but I gave you one at the beginning of the year, said Mrs. Jules. I know, Mrs. Jules, I'm sorry, I just can't find it. Mrs. Jules sighed. <sighs> I'm very disappointed in you, Dana. I need a new paper clip too, said Joe. Mrs. Jules glared at him. What did you do with the one I gave you? She demanded. I think I used it on my science homework, said Joe. I handed that back yesterday, Mrs. Jules reminded him. Didn't you save the paper clip? I guess not, Joe admitted. Bebe was finishing up the last part of her picture. Please, paper clip, please, she said without looking up from her work. One for me too, said Calvin. Mrs. Jules slammed her hand on the desk. Do you think these paper clips glow, grow on trees? I don't know, said Calvin. I gave each one of you a paper clip at the beginning of the year. It was your responsibility to take care of it. She opened her desk drawer, took out her paper clip box and opened it. There are only six left, she said, shaking her head in dismay. Ooh, can I have one? Asked Joy. I can't find mine. Mrs. Jules was too angry to reply. She moved to the front of the room. Maggie, go. Hi, Ma. Hi, Maggie. My daughter has stopped by. Please go. Go eat your popcorn. Sorry. Ooh, can I have one? Asked Joy. I can't find mine. Mrs. Jules was too angry to reply. She reminded, she moved to the front of the room. You children are so spoiled and you do, and do you have any idea what that makes, what it takes to make one paperclip? This teacher is very strict about her paperclips. She held up one of her last remaining paperclips. Look at the perfect double loop and the way it gleams in the light, almost like a mirror. Her anger seemed to melt away as she marveled at the magnificent metal masterpiece. It takes a lot of very talented people and years of training and hard work, she explained. First, there's the wire, ma the wire maker. Paper clip wire has to be just right, not too stiff, but not too wiggly either. Then there's the wire polisher, she continued. That's who gives the paper clip its special gleam and the wire cutters who cuts each wire to the precise length. She's very detailed about how a paper clip is made, but that's not how a paper clip is made. <laughs> and finally, and most important, the master bender. The bender carefully bends the wire into the perfect double loop. She puts her hand over her heart. Sadly, in these rush, rush, hurry, hurry days, not too many young people study the art of paperclip bending. There are only a handful of master benders left in the whole world, and who knows, in 10 or 20 years, there might not be any. Everyone will have to switch to staples. That is so sad, said Dana. Mrs. Jules gave the paperclip to Dana. Now don't lose it. I won't, Dana promised. Let me see, said Bibi. Dana proudly showed Bibi her new paper clip. It's so beautiful, said Bibi, admiring the double loops. I never noticed before. I'm going to be a paper clip bender when I grow up, said Calvin. Mrs. Jewell smiled at Calvin. She had never been more proud of a student. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, that is the end of chapter four, all about the paper clips. So don't lose your paper clips.